Um, hi, Commissioner. I just want to start off by telling you that I uh, majored in statistics in university, so um, <laughs> I won't... Uh, um, well, on average, we'll be okay, I reckon, between me and everyone else in the room. But um, it's actually appropriate to start with when I was in university, because when I was in university and we wanted to impress the girls, we would tell them we were in a band. And um, today, I believe all the guys tell everyone that they're in a startup. So it, is, um, it has changed slightly. And the irony for me is that when I was in university, I actually was in a startup. But it wasn't cool, and if I told people I was in a startup, they kind of looked at me and said, so you couldn't really get a real job? Um, but luckily that has changed quite a bit, and I think tonight is an absolute testament to that. Um, it is fantastic to be here tonight to celebrate diversity and to absolutely look at the, the incredible, um, the incredible um, uh, achievements of the Asian community in London and in the UK, and just to celebrate the, the ongoing success. Uh, entrepreneurs change the world, and High growth businesses are the backbone of this economy. And as part of my role at KPMG, I have had the absolute pleasure of working with entrepreneurs every single day over the last few years. Um, part of that time, we have get to see a lot of trends and seeing what happens in, out in the market. And there are three that I'm going to just discuss very briefly today. The first is the sectors that we see being used quite or being a, uh, a lot of innovation in. The second is around the entrepreneurs themselves. And the third is around clusters, especially in London. A lot of people, when they want to spark debate about what's going on around the world, will say, is London the next Silicon Valley? Can London beat Silicon Valley? And I'll tell you quite bluntly tonight, the answer is no. And that is the right answer, because we should not be trying to be the next Silicon Valley. We can be so much more, and we are so much more. And that is something that we see in our startups all the time. And when the startups who come to us, and the innovations they bring, are not trying to imitate what's going on in America. It's about using the unique strengths and the unfair advantages that the UK has. And because of that, the three areas that we see a lot of innovation are, are in fintech, so financial services. London has always been the global financial center of the world. Um, the second one is in health. Digital health, everything from digital health all the way through to regenerative medicine is doing incredible things in this country. Um, <coughs> healthcare is something that's really quite, you know, means a lot to me personally. Um, I'm absolutely intent on living forever or, or to die trying. So any new startups that can help with that journey, uh, you know, really, really do appreciate. And the final one that we see as a sector that's really hot at the moment is retail. So there's a lot of retail technology that's happening. In fact, we held a, a pretty big event here a couple months ago. And the theme that comes out of that a lot is all about omnichannel. It's about how do you connect smoothly the, the world of the digital and the world um, that we see around us, the, the brick and mortar. And there is so much going on that just takes that make into a seamless, absolutely seamless experience. Uh, and then also around data analytics. How do you understand your customers better? How can you more proactively understand what they want and what they see? The second trend is actually around the entrepreneurs themselves. And now, um, going back to those people who looked at me and said, all right, you know, you couldn't get your own job. Um, they imagine that your tech startup and your tech entrepreneur is, is that young teenage guy in his parents' basement, probably hasn't showered in a week or two, and creating the next Facebook and yet we, we do get one or two of those coming to our office when, um, when they see the sunshine. Uh, one particular 19-year-old comes to mind, pretty long hair, torn t-shirt. And he came to ask us because his dad said, you should probably go get some tax advice. Uh, it turns out he was doing some pretty sophisticated Bitcoin arbitrage and pricing and doing something like 100,000 pounds worth of business a day. So he, <laughs> he kind of wanted to figure out if he should be paying tax. Um, and yes, he should. <laughs> um, and... Um, there really are a lot of great incentives out there, as, as the minister mentioned. And specifically, the SEIS and EIS and R&D are two things that we see helping businesses every single day to develop new things and to get a lot more investment. The third trend is around tech clusters. Now, we base our little offices in Shoreditch, which for a few years really has been kind of the, the heart of technology across London and the world, and across the world for sure. Um, but that really is spreading a lot. So our team has to do quite a lot more traveling. Last week I spoke at a big digital conference in Wales. Um, we're working a lot now with eSpark across, across the north and across Scotland. Uh, and there's a hell of a lot clearly going on around. In fact, last, last week I went to go visit a new co-working space in Kensington for startups. So um, the price of property and the price of desks might not be an issue for some of the startups who, who are going to be starting in Kensington. Uh, but really it is fantastic to be able to start a business anywhere within the country and have incredible support from the government, from your community, and from lots of big corporates out there who are really here to help. Um, our team works with startups every day, 
And it's just an absolutely incredible place to be. And if anyone would like to know a bit more, I'm here. Thank you.